The Wolf Pack's founding in 1967 under Robin Olds's leadership is well known, although some people might not be aware of the origin of the plan to disguise F-4s as F-105s. Captain John J.B. Stone of the U.S. Air Force was given the task of figuring out how the 8th Tactical Fighter Wing, TFW, would counter the threat posed by the North Vietnamese MiG-21s at the time. Over a few cheap beers with Olds and a critical analysis of the materials at hand, he came up with the idea that would eventually play a crucial role in the history of aviation. On January 2, 1967, F-4s from the 8th TFW made their way into North Vietnam from the west, using the same altitude, formation, and path as an F-105 bomb attack. Additionally, they had electronic jamming pods for F-105s that they carried and employed. The MiGs approached to intercept what they believed to be an F-105 strike after the North Vietnamese fell for the bait. In order to stop the MiGs from fleeing to China and to orbit their bases, which prevented the MiGs from landing, 366th TFW F-4s arrived in North Vietnam from the east at the same time. Despite a few issues brought on by the overcast weather, Operation Bolo was a resounding success. With no USAF losses during the 12-minute encounter, F-4 air crews downed seven MiG-21s and injured two others, or over half of the operating force of the Vietnam People's Air Force, VPAF. Four days later, two more MiG-21s were brought down by a different trick, this one imitating an F-4 reconnaissance aircraft. For several months, these severe losses significantly decreased MiG activity. The narrative of J.B. Stone comes full circle on his recent visit to Kunsan after 51 years have passed. In the Olds room at Kunsan, J.B. talked to the airmen of the Wolf Pack about Operation Bolo and shared his experiences, knowledge, and stories with them. He took to the skies once more with the pack. His flight was hosted by the 80th Fighter Squadron Juvats, which is another instance of how the narrative has come full circle since J.B.'s son flew with the Juvats in the late 1990s.